We've been talking about the homeless crisis a lot recently, and a lot of you have had stuff to say about that. I got this email from Troy recently. He said, we also need to ask the question, what do we know about the homelessness in Portland and Oregon? Are they even at the homeless people? Are they even from this area? Is it a homegrown crisis or one where our policies provide a more attractive location than other states? Now, I've seen a lot of comments like this before. I've heard this kind of argument in personal conversations a lot before. And I think it speaks to this misconception that people have about the Portland area that it attracts homeless people. And that's because we have progressive policies and services to help them out. And the idea is that they then decide to come here because of that. So I asked Dennis throw off, throw off, Theralt about that. He is with the Joint Office of Homeless Services. And here's what he had to say. If we think about our homelessness crisis as being fueled by people coming here from some other place, it allows us to not think about how close any of us might be if we lost our job or if our housing was taken away or got more expensive than we could manage. How close we might actually be to homelessness. We don't have to think about the systemic issues that are driving people through that cycle if we can think about it as someone else coming to us and taking our resources. And the numbers don't bear that out. I mean, the number of folks who come here who are experiencing homelessness who come from another place, it's the same percentage as anyone else. We can look at, there's numbers that look at all adults in Multnomah County, their census numbers, and that percentage is the same across whether someone's housed or not. And the thing I think about is if you are experiencing homelessness somewhere else, you don't have a place to live, you don't have a shelter bed there, and maybe you do have friends or family there, why would you want to come to a place where you still very likely, look at how many people are outside in this community right now. Even with the shelters that we've opened, there are still so many people outside. You can't come here and guarantee yourself a shelter bed. Certainly you're not guaranteed to get an apartment. Now that might be an attractive thing, but that's not happening here. And then you come here and then you don't have any friends or connections or community either. And you've got to start all that over again. Realistically, that doesn't make sense for folks. And generally, you know, we, we, we know that really it's, it's homegrown. It's people who used to be in housing, who used to be able to afford apartments, even if they had a disabling condition 10, 15 years ago, and now they can't. And now they're in the neighborhoods they used to live in and they're hoping for some way back up.